Here's a second example of how to use a static void method to shorten the amount of programming in your main method. So our instruction was to write a program to calculate the length of the long side of a right angled triangle. So this is Pythagoras. You get two sides, the two shorter sides that are at 90 degree angles to each other, and you must calculate the third side. And we know that the answer is uh, if side A and B are the short sides, then side C will be the square root of A squared plus B squared. So I've given you the answer. You must do the programming. So I've done the programming here, everything in the main method. And I will show you now how to use a different or a new user-defined static void method to shorten the code in the main method. Let's just run this one so that you can see it works. Uh, if I use integer values, that or values that I know will produce an integer, so 3 and 4 should produce 5, and there it does. Now, let's add a new user-defined method called Pythagoras. So I'm going to put it down here, and I'm going to call it P Y T H Pyth, and it's void because we, it's not sending anything back. It's merely going to do stuff that uh, used to be done inside the main method. So here I'm going to put the code that used to be in the main method. So all of that, let's just Control X, copy it, well cut it actually, and paste it here. And notice there are no errors, but at this stage, this method called Pyth has not been called, so I must call it, otherwise we don't get any output. So Pyth, the little error disappears. If I run it, or compile and run, and I say 3 and 4, then it produces the long side has a value of 5. So this is another example of shortening the code in your main method by using a static void method without any parameters. Parameters would be values that are sent into the program in between these two round brackets.